Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. In our Train Micro series, today we are going to learn how to configure Smart Folder. Friends, Smart Folder is very useful when you are managing multiple agents in a single console in more organized way. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's open the Deep Security Manager console. Friends, once you log into the Deep Security Manager, go to the computer tab, and here one option is there called Smart Folder. By default, when you install Deep Security Manager, there is only one group available that is computers, and all the agents you are going to install will be linked into the same group. Yeah, I know for AWS, Azure, GCP, there are different different groups are getting created, but Smart Folders are always better to have. So let me show you how you can configure that. Let's go to the Smart Folders. Create smart folder. Let's give its name like Deep Security Manager Server or DSM. Now select the properties. So here, let me say I want to go with the policy is equal to Deep Security Manager. So as per the criteria, it will show all the systems in which Deep Security Manager policy is applied because I have only applied Deep Security Manager policy to my Deep Security Manager Server only. Now click on Save. So as soon as I click on save, it's showing two system entries, which has deep security manager policies. So this is how the smart folder work. You don't need to drag and drop any computer into this folder. It does job automatically. Now if I go again to the computers, you can see there's a total three computers out of which two computers entries is visible here. But another copy of the same server will be always available here in the main tab, which is computer. Similar way, you can create different different groups for your different different policy types. Now let's create one more uh, smart folder. Create smart folder, and this time we are going to create folder based on the computer type, physical computer, AWS. So these are the you know lots of options available. Now let's explore different options like activated and is equal to no. But by default, it won't show anything because our all systems are activated inactive agent I click on save see this group is empty let me add one group computer into this particular group so that we can uh, check inactive policy add a computer let's give a name test server policy none default relay group ok next finish Close. Now, if I go back to our inactive agent, it will show one server which is inactive because the agent is still not activated on this machine. Now, let's create one more folder. Create smart folder. Let's say agent offline. Guys, all through you have different different options for AWS servers, Azure, uh, GCP, vCenters, vCloud, Active Directory. Like in uh, vCenter, what you can do? You can give your vCenter name here. So all the systems are communicating with that particular vCenter, it will all list out into the one smart folder group. But for now, let's stick with the agent offline. Agent should be offline, yes. Deep security agent offline. Now click on save. See, automatically two computers are get added here. One is DSM multi-node and second is our WSK19 hyphen DC01 server. If I go back to the computer tab, currently my only this particular server is online and rest of the two servers are offline. This particular server doesn't have any agent installed, that's why it's falling to the unknown or unmanaged state. Additionally, if you go to the events and reports under system events, here also you can use your smart folders. Like instead of all computers, choose your smart folder and for which servers you want to check out the entry. So let's say I want to check. DSA offline. Now the duration will be last seven days and refresh. Now our filter showing the reports for all offline servers. So friends, this is how our smart folder works. So based on your requirement, please go ahead and configure our your smart folders for the easiest navigation. Friends, that's it in this video. I hope you have found this video useful. If so, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Click on the bell icon so that whenever I'll upload 
new security videos you will be very first to notify thanks for watching bye bye